Clay pushing. Clay tops it. Second main field goal. Beat them over the top if that's what they want to do. They don't think they can. Step five behind Looney. Misses that third and final meeting against the Thunder. They catch him without Shea Gilgis Alexander, but no Draymond Green. Wiggins got caught up in the air, threw that one away. Giddy's running with friends, setting up Baisley. They met him up top, and then the foul on the rebound. The Warriors tried to hustle back. They're opportunistic when it comes to running because they do have athletes like this that can get in the air, hang time, take the contact, a little more intensity after halftime. Well, they're two and one road trip. You know, you go beat Dallas, you beat Portland. They finally lost all season. They saved their best for the Dubs. Like, okay, Steph Curry, the Warriors are coming in. You know, you're going to get an absolute max effort from the Warriors. offensively before that last Kings game for them where they kind of struggled there, but Lou Dort didn't play in that right. Curry drawing favors out of the lane and crossed him over. And setting up Clay. It's all Curry and Clay working together. Set it. Clay working together. Set it so much tonight. Move his feet. Down to five. The corner hounding Baisley. They force Giddy into the biggest lead is right now with 12 and make it 14. Is Clay finding out a transition? It's been a half court. He's been making great passes all over the place, setting guys up. New door. A arcing shot coming out of the timeout. Look, he's a point guard now. It's like, you know what? We love what you're doing. New door staying with Steph. Clay Thompson down the lane, and there he finds Wiggins. Shot clock down to five. Wiggins is really interesting. Trey Mann. Now, why is that for Wiggins on the left side? As a, right, as a right-handed shooter, why would that be? It's interesting. A lot of right-handed shooters do like shooting it on the left a little more. Even with the pull-ups, is Looney's going left because movement, and, and sometimes it can mess you up with the pass. Trey Mann dropping in the three. There's just no wasted motion. Just catch, shoot, everything feels great. Sometimes it's not like that on the right. Yeah. What the three? Hey, there it is. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I do request. <laughs> Point lead. Curry in double figures. Door off. Uh-oh. He, no, he checked. And that time missed everything. I can test he turned to look like he did not make that. Oh, he did make that one? He did. Josh Giddy, the Warriors just playing for... Curry backdoor cut. Ball hopping around to Clay Thompson. Clay down the lane, took the body bump. An hour. That's not avoiding contact. That's dishing out punt. He got in the air there and hung. Just hung out for a while. A couple free throws coming your way. Powered by Cisco Webex. That's sweet. It's like a hybrid watch. Well, you talked about the athleticism or fitness level of Clay Thompson. The work to come back after 941 days. He's at a good pace. He's not rushed. He's kind of letting the game come to him, especially tonight after he kind of started out slow. Giddy on the baseline made some for Clay. Has there been a time here post All Star break to really be fine tuning heading into the playoffs? His conditioning has always been one of his strong suits, but to Mitch's, that's just a different level. And I just think. You know, we, he's so much more than just a three-point shooter, and you get to see that. He's an all-around scorer, now a great passer. Porter missed that three. Porter train. So Rudy, you're going to close out on Basley. Not that hard. He still hit the three, but the advantage on man. Well, Steph, Dort's done an admirable job on Curry, and he knocked the ball away, but didn't commit the foul. Trying to stay glued to Steph. There he did a little too much. But the energy he's expending impressed me about him. As his scoring has gone up, he hasn't lost his commitment level to the defensive end. And that's what he was known as he played Houston. He was big. And he guarded, you know, James Harden. And I thought, okay, well, you know, he's a good defensive stopper, but Houston, they would just leave. Where, yeah, Kawhi Leonard yeah. kind of start yeah. defensively and offensively comes around later. As he, there's Lou Dort. Steps up again. again, yeah. And just, okay, if Lou Dort makes a shot, we'll live with it, but not anymore. Wiggins with the left side and another lefty finish. Give the heavy minute guys a chance to sit a little bit. Derek 
Favors always been a good mid-range jump shooter for a big guy. After that first quarter ball moving around a lot better, Steph thought about it. Looney's at point blank range, took his time and finished. It's the patience. And his side step, get in there and finish. Bull, speaking of finishing, went right by Trey Mann. Both teams. Rich Williams setting up Baisley. Baisley becomes a three-point shooter out there. side. It's like, you know what? Let me switch this angle. His percentage is going to come up. Kenrich Williams with a backdoor cut. He's just a solid player. D there. Push ahead, Giddy. In on play. An Olympic team. And even as a teenager, he did not go to Tokyo. But watching him play in scrimmage, I, I just think that this kid is just going to get better. Watching LaMelo Ball actually gave him confidence to do that because LaMelo Ball was in that same league the year before. I could do this. I mean, Giddy, 12 points, 11 boards, 7 assists, another Warrior turnover. This is getting more than a little interesting as Giddy sees the timeout. It was that double team right there now. Got Looney and a bunch of smalls here. Giddy went right down the lane. First of all, he jukes Clay, and then he went to run. He's doing all the damage. What a five-point game after being up 16 and comfortable. And Clay Thompson. Clay takes Dort. Foul line jumper's perfect. What a game. Blue Dort point game. Williams to Baisley. And Looney read it. Baisley hustling for it, trying to throw it off of him. Come on, got it. That's big-time defense from Looney and effort to make sure he got back. Six-point leading the ball. Staff thought about that step back. Clay won't think at all. He'll just bury a three. <laughs> Was there ever a doubt? As soon as Clay got it, he... But he decides to give it to his splash brother. He knows what to do with it. 
And for Baisley, that's a door. He's just been wonderful to watch. everything there. Steph lets it get down to five. Step back three. Ball game. Right. Curry with 18, 10, and nine. It was Clay and Steph Curry with threes to put the Thunder away. Turn the light. The Splash Brothers do it again. So one rebound off a triple double. Clay leads the way with 21. The last three to go four for 10. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The Splash Brothers, two monster clay threes at Curry.